I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about baby mucus and breathing. Now, I don't often get to bring up the topic of mucus situations, but it's fun to talk about here because it is something we deal with an awful lot. And when we think about mucus in infants, we can really be talking about a very serious problem. Why is that? Well, newborns have to breathe through their noses. They don't breathe particularly well through their mouths. They can take a little gas, but they can't really rely on that. Even more so when they're feeding. We call them obligate nose breathers. So if something stuffs up a newborn's nose, that can actually be a life-threatening condition. Now, that could be swelling. It could be mucus. When babies are first born, especially babies who are born by cesarean delivery, we'll often see that they've got some mucus. The nurses will use a little suction bulb and sometimes even a uh, hospital suction, a suction canister, to get that mucus out and clear the baby's airway. From that point on, they may get a little stuffier congested for another day or two, but then they should clear up. Some babies, however, seem to keep some nasal congestion. What could be going on? Well, there are a few things. First of all, they may actually have an anatomical blockage of the airway. That will take a doctor to examine and potentially to fix. If both sides of the nose are completely blocked off, that can be a very dangerous and life-threatening condition. Uh, much more common, they get a little bit of congestion. Why is that? Well, obviously, colds occur. A child can get a cold even shortly after birth, although for a little while they tend to be protected by mother's antibodies. However, if your infant is getting a cold, you're going to want to try and keep that mucus out of the nose. What can you do? You can make some saline nose drops. You can buy those at the store, but you can also make them at home using one teaspoon of salt and uh, two cups of water, or a half teaspoon of salt, and one cup of water, or a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a uh, half cup of water. You can do the math there. Uh, you want to boil that so that it dissolves nicely, and then let it cool back down to room temperature. Dribble a couple of drops in each side of the nose, and then get that little blue or red suction bulb that you probably got at the hospital. Just put it right at the tip of the nostrils. You don't have to jam it way in there. And pull that stuff out after a minute or two after it's had a chance to loosen the mucus. That should help your baby breathe at least enough to be able to sleep or eat. Now, there are some nose drops that the doctor can choose to use for a couple of days, but those nose drops are really quite dangerous for infants uh, if they're used over a prolonged period of time. The reason is that when you stop using decongestant nose drops, the nose tends to become congested again. And of course, that's just as dangerous as the first time around. Now, the other thing people ask me about a lot is mucus color. Is it okay if it's green? Is it okay if it's yellow? Does that mean they need antibiotics? No, it doesn't. It's fine for the mucus to be green or yellow. That's a normal part of a cold, often occurring about the fourth or fifth day. So the color doesn't bother me, but if your newborn baby is having a tough time breathing, you should probably take him or her to a medical professional and have it looked at. Talking about baby mucus and breathing, I'm Dr. David Hill.